case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a blazing 1986 court case, United States Lines Inc. locked horns with GAC Marine Fuels, limited in a legal tussle before the United States Bankruptcy Court for the Southern District of New York. This centered on a defining question. Is a foreign corporation with a significant connection to the United States required to defend itself in a U.S. court? Embattled debtor United States Lines, Inc., relegated to the realm of Chapter 11 bankruptcy, brought the case against GAC Marine Fuels Limited. The firm filed for a preliminary injunction in an attempt to keep GAC Marine's hands off its ships and property. In a further escalation, they sought to hold GAC Marine in contempt for defying an automatic stay and restraining order. Undeterred, GAC Marine argued that being a foreign company insulated it from the court's jurisdiction. The court was tasked with unraveling the knotty issue of whether jurisdiction extended to GAC Marine. During an evidentiary hearing, the veil was lifted on GAC Marine's high sea maneuvers. It was revealed that the company had taken an aggressive legal bite by initiating an admiralty action against the debtor in the Supreme Court of Hong Kong, leading to a warrant of arrest against one of the debtor's vessels that curtailed its liberty to leave Hong Kong. However, the tide turned for GAC Marine when the court asserted its jurisdiction. The court tagged GAC Marine with stringent requirements, including adherence to a preliminary injunction and a restraining order. Evasion or non-compliance carried heavy consequences, pushing GAC Marine into the deep waters of a civil contempt charge and a hefty daily fine of $5,000. The unusual case illuminated the thorny issues of international law and the powerful reach of U.S. courts. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.